put some common fossil and they kind of have a news video uh, talking about the upcoming sets briefly, Paldea and Fate's Temporal Forces, rotations now been announced, and any changes to the ban list, and a couple uh, card things. So uh, we'll get into it because there's a bunch of news over the next few months that are relevant. First, uh, Paldea and Fate's expansion. Uh, we know that's coming January 26th or January 25th. It should be coming to live. That is a mini special set. A lot of it are these special arts. There'll be a few playable cards, such as Moonlit Hill. We'll take a look at things like that. TM, uh, Crisis Punch, and such. So some new, a few new cards coming uh, late January, but not a lot. I don't think uh, what the, what's being played will change a lot by that. Then the major set, a, a, a main expansion, is Temporal Forces. That's coming out. On March 22nd, we see the release date. Their, their release, you can order pre release things in the store now. I mean, pre order things, I apologize for that, in, in the Pokemon Center store. That's what this article is talking about. It comes March 22nd, IRL, uh, but that means it should come to live March 21st. And there's some other news that kind of ties into that. So there, there's a number of important cards in this set. And we'll talk about a couple of new items later on in the video. Um, okay, so they've now officially announced that Rotation is going to be linked with Temporal Forces. It's official for IRL play, with competitive play, which is IRL, is April 5th tw uh, of this year, 2024, which is, I believe, two weeks after the set comes out. That's what they generally do. It just gives people time to get access to the cards. We don't, you know, so that those that have the resources and the ability to get cards immediately in the first day or two, they don't want to give the, that huge advantage to uh, those players. So two weeks after. But then what it says in here, uh, rotation will happen on live on March 21st. So the, so it does confirm real, what, and that's the day that uh, Temporal Forces also should become available in live. So um, it, so rotation of the new sets come out on the same date in live. That's what they did last year. They're doing it again. It allows people to prepare for IRL tournaments. I do kind of miss it as someone that's not really playing IRL, IRL events, that top brief period of two weeks when you could play the new cards plus the older cards before rotation. You had an even bigger card pool for two weeks. But I understand they view as live as one of the purposes of testing for IRL. It also has its own life, though, of its own, right, from players like myself. And I'm sure a lot of listeners here are mainly live players, but obviously people play IRL as well for sure. Um, so what the uh, in this rotation, so it is... Cards with the E mark are rotating, uh, so it's going to be F, G, and H regulation marks will be legal. And like they say here later on, older versions of cards that um, are uh, older versions of cards that are in rotation. If there's a new version of the card with F, G, or H mark, you can play the old card as well. Uh, for example, they say with rare candy, right? You may have an older rare candy from the Sun and Moon, and but you 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 can play that in any standard deck because Rare Candy um, was reprinted with a G regulation mark. And there's other cards that that falls into. So just be aware of that. And particularly if you're a new player, um, don't be surprised if you see some older cards. And also, don't feel that you need to craft. If you're a budget player and you're a new player, you don't, if you have older copies in your, in, in your collection, you don't need to craft newer copies. Just play the older copy. And if you prefer the art of the older one, even if you have both, just play the older one. You have that flexibility there. Um, within this, they also made a mention that the um, expanded format will remain unchanged. And they give a list to the ban list, and I took a look through it. And just to confirm, and so Scoop of Net was not added to the international ban list. Scoop of Net was banned in Japan for play, expanded play, uh, because you can scoop up EXs, I believe, right? The new EXs is problematic. It makes it overpowered. Uh, but they didn't implement it for the international expanded bills. I'm, I'm a bit surprised by that. Um, look, I, I'm, it's sad that, that they continue just to neglect expanded, and this continues to reinforce that, that Pokemon doesn't particularly care about expanded. But it, since it was banned in Japan, it would have been very easy for them just to say in this release, hey, we have we've banned ScoopUpNet, and then, boom, added it to this list here. But instead, 
they don't ban it, which is, you know, it just shows that Pokemon doesn't really envision uh, Expanded being a thing during this next calendar year, which means I don't expect it to come to IRL tournaments this year, and official tournaments, that is, right, to official uh, sanctioned uh, point-granting events. And also, I don't expect Expanded in live to come out of beta. They're not going to then, I probably, they're not, I guess I'm, they're probably not planning on live becoming full blown live out of beta, fully workable this calendar year. And honestly, I'm not surprised by that. They still don't have standard fully working, and they have to do that first. So, uh, but it, it, it's disappointing news that they're not moving ahead with expanded. Uh, just a couple cards to talk about. There is a new Ace spec com- that, that's, that was announced, and that's called Hero's Cape. This is a tool, uh, which, of course, was an item back when the original Ace specs were, uh, were released. And within it, what it says is the Pokemon this card's attached to gets plus 100 HP. So that's very nice. Obvi- you, you can only have one copy of it because it's an Ace spec, and therefore you can't have a, any other Ace spec in your deck. But it's a nice option to have it, and... I imagine it will see play in some decks. We'll consider uses of it later on with decks once we get the card actually playable. And what they've done here with the announcement, let me scroll up here. Uh, This is from Pokey Beach, as was the A-Spec reveal. Um, Yeah, the Hero's Cape reveal. Um, There's certain news about this Temporal Forces set. Oh, I should have said that. These A-Specs are coming out in Temporal Forces. The big news to me is there will be... Um, seven A specs in Temporal Forces, six trainers, and one special energy. Um, and they give some other things in it there. Uh, they're going to be more ancient and future Pokemon. That is, I'm quite nice about that. And some more uh, Terra EX Pokemon as well, which is nice. And so we have seven A specs coming, and we've re- they've revealed four more. So that means we there are three more A specs coming that they have not revealed, so um, we'll keep that in mind, and I don't believe they've been announced for Japan what those will be, so we'll get, we anticipate the next couple of months finding out about three more Ace specs, so that's kind of the general news, Paldea and Fates in a couple of weeks, January 25th coming to live, Tempora Forces on March 21st coming to live, as well as Expansion, as well as Rotation, and I'll, I'll talk more about Rotation when it comes, because last year, for new players, and and they, they don't know about rotation. All of a sudden, it becomes a shock when these decks aren't playable, and it causes confusion. So uh, we'll talk more about that when the time comes, just to prepare people for it. But that's the news with uh, Pokemon. And, you know, I think it's significant enough, significant points that I wanted to make a video for today and share it. Uh, hopefully, these new decks and these new expansions lead to some fun decks and some fun gameplay for all of us. Take care.